everyone, Tiny So Chibi's here, and we're back. I would also like to to say that I called it that the dude isn't like if I am correct, she's the one talking right now, and she's lilac silver, and he is teal brimstone. So I would like to say I was right. I would like to pat myself on the on the back or on the shoulder because I can't really reach my back too well. Unless I do the anyway. But I said he was a T and she was an L and I was fucking right. Whoops. I cursed. Oh well, who gives a shit? Anyway. So Again, I don't normally do this, but I'm just going to do this just to see if anybody actually does it. But if you want to hit the like and subscribe, you can do that. I would appreciate it. Enough of this thing that I really don't like doing and I hate hearing in videos. And it's everyone's. Why are you making noises? Huh? Why are you making noises? Anyway. Um. So I'm right, so I'm just gonna like celebrate right now. Where's my glasses so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing? Did I forget my glasses in another room? God damn it. I am blind. I need my glasses. Where are my glasses? I think I left them in the bathroom. Ugh. Um, I'm close enough to the screen that I can probably see it fine. I really don't feel like not doing the thing. Anyway. Hello, I'm Lala Silver. This is my partner, Teal Brimstone. And I'm Blaze Ahen. And this is my own partner, Cobalt Blue. Hello again. It's nice to meet you two as well. Although I have a question for Blaze. What are you thinking? What were you thinking? What did I... You know full too well what you did. You broke one of the rules of initiation, putting both yourself and Cobalt at risk for, of expulsion or death, just so you can get him as a partner and teammate. How do you even... I heard you yelling out her name and turned in to see you clinging up. I heard you yelling out her name and turned to see you clinging... To see her clinging onto you when you were still in the air. And I hope you realized how reckless and impulsive that stupid... And stupid that decision was, Blaze. And how is this your responsibility to yell at her about? Excuse me? You heard me. This doesn't affect you in any way so far. I'm the only... I'm the one who she went to those lengths for. And I've forgiven her for that. So you got no reason to be yelling at her. Especially in the middle of a forest full of deadly grim. Which will have picked up on that burst of negativity by now. Under these circumstances, I think you owe Blaze an apology. Apologize for making sure that she realizes the stupidity of her actions. If she wants to get herself expelled or killed, then that's fine. But she shouldn't be dragging you into this mess as well. She did it. She did so because I'm her boyfriend of 11 months. If anyone's got the right to be mad at her for putting me at risk, then it's me. And trust me, while I'm very concerned for her future at Beacon now, I'm definitely not mad about it. You only just met her, so again... What right, exact, what right exactly do you have to yell at her? None. So if you don't mind, I appreciate it if you apologize for yelling at my girlfriend for something that wasn't... <coughs> Woo! I felt that coming and I was like, frick! Now what is also aggravating me down here? Sorry, like, I'm just trying to push this... Like, my dresser drawers and off. Oh, bloody hell, y'all. Y'all don't see that, but I do. Um, maybe, or maybe y'all do. I don't know. But I just got that your battery is running low. You might want to plug in your PC. Warning right now, so. Where is my wire? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Alrighty. Gotta plug this sucker in. Um...
I don't know. Like, every time they mention that it's only been 11 months, I... Well, I maybe because they're t- supposed to be teenagers and stuff, but I kind of cringe. Because I'm like, 11 months isn't that long. But then again... Like, besides them being teenagers, 11 months does sometimes feel like a very long time. You know? And what do I... I've never been in a relationship, so maybe I have no fucking... You know, way of talking, but who knows. And they're like, what, seven? Yeah, you gotta be 17. So, like... I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit, I forgot to fix that. I'll do it later. Back to the thing on the bottom. Uh, you're looking at her and something is any of your business. Fine. I'm sorry for yelling at you, Blaze. I was just taken aback by your unorthodox approach to initiative and stuck my nose into something that wasn't my business. I think I can forgive you for that, Lilac. I mean, technically, she, well, she, I think Lilac's actually not completely wrong here. Because, even though she doesn't know, she did not, like, just to me, yeah, like, Blaze does deserve to be, like, kind of get scolded for that. Because, like, yeah, even if you guys are dating, though, or even, like, you have to understand that they could have, the risk of what she could have done would have been really bad. But, you know. It does show that um, both Blaze and um, Cobalt have a good relationship because even though Cobalt was upset about the whole situation as well, he still defended Blaze because, you know, they still love each other. So it's like, it's like a, it's not like, oh, dang it. Please tell me you didn't, okay, there you go. Sorry, like for a second there, like the timer looked like it stopped and I was like, damn it to hell and back don't need the thing stopping on for me and my headphones are falling off sorry anyway back to this thing where's my thing there it is nothing come on what was that oh great it's not responding what did I do? Oh, that's probably why. Um. See if, uh, what are you doing? Stop that. I don't even know what you're asking for. I'm gonna actually save it right here. For two reasons. And I'll cover up them. Bye, Osman. I love you. Anyway. Try to find a picture with just Osman. <laughs> Beowulfs and their clothes. Okay, we're stuck out in the middle of clearing. That is right for an ambush. You can come on outside. So what do you suggest? We'll all stand back to back and make sure the Grim don't try and flank us. Sounds like a plan, Cobalt. And we can tell. Well, I don't know. Well, actually, yes. Whoever's... It seems like... Wh whoever's in the first beginning part is the leader. So, co obviously, Copal is the leader of this group. This band of weary children. And plan... Bla Blaze brings her fireballs out into play, while Lilac and Teal bring out their own weapons. I seem to be carrying what looks like a air gun spear. Well, damn it! Why does it like do that? Like me? I don't know if it's me. It's me carrying what looks like an air gun spear, while Tobit looks like he's c carrying a hammer. Okay. Boop. 
No way did the hammer just turn into a triple barrel breaking action shotgun. This guy has an awesome has has an awesome weapon. Triple breaking action shotgun. What the hell does that even look like? Hmm. I'm worried the audio is going to kill my I keep getting spooked and I do not like being spooked. Alright, they're gonna time to focus on kicking some butt. <coughs> Hold on, let me check because I know that was my phone or that was something. What was it? Yeah. Oof. Product description. Oh, I talk, I asked my sister what the Cupid Parasite per game was about. Or parasite? P A R A S I T E. Pair Oz type parasite. That's what I'm going with. Parasite. Welcome to Cupid Corporation. Da -da 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 -da. Well, they just mixed the, like, whatever. Keep it, da 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 da. Ah, there it is. Domain, what? Twenty-one seven seventy-nine. This combat scene is undergoing. Revision and will be added in a full out a later date. So, can I still see it? Oh dear. Where? Okay. So I keep trying to. Get, okay. What the hell was that? Is it a weird flicker? Right. I hate it when it does weird when things happen this weird. Admit that we perform pretty well together, even if we only just met. Agreed. It's not quite over yet. We still need to go. We need to get to the ruins and grab our relics before heading back to Beacon. He's right. I guess we're heading to the ruins then. Where else would we go? Into a cave? Point taken. Come on, team. Let's go already. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure we all thought about that cobalt. Play nice, you two. Anyway, let's go and get our relics and head back to Beacon. Sounds good to me. Chess pieces? Really? I wasn't expecting those to be the relics. No one was. In any case, we should pick one and head back. Dibs on the bishop. I don't think you can call dibs on a chess piece, Blaze. Especially when we appear to have been the first ones here. The chess pieces? Please? Fine. Got it. Okay, then we should head back to Beacon. Hope run into any more Grim along the way. Agreed. Just do do do. Well, we made it out of the forest. Since we're all partnered up and got a relic each. I think it's safe to say that we passed. Indeed. Not without consequences. Osbin! I love him. Let me just save it. Oh, that's right. I just remembered something. Because... I'm... Dang it, I saved it all for both. Whoopsie. I don't know how I did that, but um, I saved it over both. I'm pretty sure they're actually going to get in trouble because they're not part of the favored team, so they're going to get in trouble. But who knows? Um, there was something that was. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm like reading the text my sister sent me. Um, let's go back to Osmond scolding everybody. Miss Haha, <laughs> while your actions are started, I shouldn't warrant ex against any school rules. I want to make it clear that they did risk both your life and that of your boyfriends. Those platforms are not designed to launch two people at once, and your actions not only broke that platform, but also drastically altered the distance in which you were sent flying off. A hundred shouldn't be risking their lives of herself or her ch or her teammates due to personal gain, Miss Hen. That being said, you still managed to complete the objectives with relative ease, despite your recklessness. Despite your recklessness, you can find to beacon for one month. You will be unable to go to Vale during this time, and any attempts to do so will result in detentions or worse. Understood, Headmaster. The students will be gathered in the uh, uh, I can never uh, F a theory blah 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 blah. Once initiation is over, feel free to make your way there at any time. You okay there, Blaze? I'm not sure. Hey, well, he does have a point about you not about you not putting our lives at r unnecessary risk like you did, we both survived. It's okay. And just because you screwed up today doesn't mean that I don't love you any less. What? Okay, so. Please tell me you're going to move. Okay, so the timer's still going off. All in all, I don't think her punishment was that bad. She's just essentially not allowed to leave Beacon. Ru um, Team Ruby or Team Juniper, they probably wouldn't have just been scolded, but it would have been like, okay. I love you too, Cobalt. Now then, shall we get to the F... F why can't I not... Amphitheater and put this mess behind us. Lead the way, Cobalt. I believe Team Ruby was the last one. Before them was John's team, or Juniper. And then before them, I believe, was Cardinan. Cardell? Cardinal? Oh, which reminds me. No. Won't spoil fanfic stuff. So you survived initiation. Granted, there are a few ups and downs on the journey, but we've made it out okay. So we're going to be on the team together for the next four years. Don't forget partners, thanks to you. Don't act like you think that's a bad thing, Cobalt. Seriously, I'm glad you're on my team, Cobalt. And not just because you're my boyfriend. Or your personal bias. And there's your skills in a fight, your team. I think it definitely helped you there. Training at signaled. It would also help if you had something on his rifle that you used in close combat. Even a bayonet is more useful than just using the butt of this weapon. Who even uses a bayonet these days? I can name at least one person who does. What, like a history buff? That's the description of her. So zealous. Lot. All of you standing here at this moment have managed to pass the lost test requiring to become hunter and huntresses in training. Even if some of you resorted to methods I wouldn't approve of during this initiation. No comment. You will be spending the next four years of your team learning the valuable skills to keep our world safe and at peace. Sorry. I stretch right now and like 
I like hit my elbow on my iPad like in that in that one position that like whenever you bump something you, it just sends like that weird kind of jolt but then I also have like a nice weird like the scratch these weird scratches on my elbow kind of not, not on my elbow but like on the side of it like it's more closer to the squishy part though like when you bend your elbow joint like I don't know anyway I just hurt myself that's all you need to know you sorry um I had a I had to swallow some spit and it just you will be expected to work harder I have time to face any oh, any hardship you may encounter with your with a head held high but I have every confidence that you will succeed and go and in on let on to to achieve many great things in your future but until then very serious cobalt blue lays a hand lilac silver teal brimstone the second in command wait did I miss something uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so. I must really screw me over. Or do you work together as Team Cobalt? Cobalt. Yeah, I'm just. Col. Game! Or was it more my computer doing this? Something is acting up. It's probably my computer. Led by Cobalt. Wait, what? Dips in second in command. Alright. Doesn't work like that, Blaze. This is going to be my team for the next few years. We're clearly off to a good start. And it's loading. Give me minutes, please. So this is our dorm room for the next four years. I feel like there's something missing from this room. Around finding it nicely furnished with four single beds. I guess that's standard team size at Beacon. Granted, I could do with some individual customizations on a, at least some level, but I'm not sure what Blaze means. Such as, for one, I need to push our two beds together. Is that even allowed? Only one way to find out. Thanks for the support, Teal. Now the team I could use. Now then, team. I can use some help here. We walk towards one of the beds, typically one parallel to one another one. Uh, to another on the opposite side of the room, which means the one on this side of the room is going to be mine, I guess. Now my bed is a king size, or more specifically, our bed. Why did we do that again? So we can share more bed space with Cobalt. Please don't do anything explicit while me and Teal are in the room. Fine. You know, I feel so sorry for Lilac. She's got to deal with this shit. <laughs> like, poor Lilac. Also, was that the little... Is that gonna be the tune when we go to bed? Look at this, it's so fancy. I wonder if this is supposed to be the end of the episode. The game? If so, I'm gonna be very sad. Hmm. I'm saving it. Yes. It's black screen. Click. Boop. February 4th. Monday. Day 1. 
I wonder how... F okay, so good. I hate this stupid tie. Seriously, if you're going to give us some uniforms to wear to class, the least you could do is make the tie for the male version not so much of a hassle to tie up. Granted, I've never had to tie one before, but still. Seriously, consider asking one of my new teammates to help for help. That was still a surprise to me, too, being made team leader. That's a lot of responsibility being put into my hands. I just hope that I'm up to the challenge. Seriously. Oh, seriously. Suddenly. I hear a knock on the door, and now my partner is calling out to me. Oh, well, you've been in there for a while. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I have some trouble with the tie. Is it safe to come in and help you, or are you still getting dressed? Since when do you care about whether it's safe to come in when I'm getting changed? I don't. But Lila and Tara are out here, and I don't want to put either them or you in an embarrassing situation just yet. Don't put us in an embarrassing situation ever, Ahen. Yes, I'm fully clothed. Then I'm coming in. Hmm. The only thing I have question about about this is aren't the bathrooms and beacon like public bathrooms? Because I But then again Hmm. Like, no, but then I remember a scene where John was talk John does talk to Ren, like, right out of the bathroom. But then, weren't they... <sighs> hmm. Maybe... <sighs> I'm trying to... Like, I remember two different scenes and, like, they're kind of counteract with each other. I probably have to watch the first the seasons again, or just find those clips and see we watch those clips just to make sure because I swore I remember like them getting like leave ha having like a bunch of their stuff going to like the bathroom to go you know take a bath and stuff but then I also remember ever from like a public bathroom so I don't know very weird so how do I look Breathtaking, stunning, gorgeous. Hot. I don't think there's enough words in the val Valian? Valian dictionary for me to use. I don't mind. Just keep showering me with praises. And maybe kisses. That's a tempting offer. Though, what is. Am I. What is hugging. What did it say? Uh, tempting the way the uniform hugs blaze curves is so that's hugging curves a bit too much than usual. Damn it, Blaze, did you intentionally get a uniform that's a size smaller? Maybe I did. What are you gonna do about it, little boy? Not com no comment. In any case, you made an absolute mess with your tie. I hadn't noticed. Watch and learn messing it up. In a matter of seconds, Blaze un undoes the faulty knot I had produced before turning to face the mirror and doing the tie herself. How is that in 12 months we've known each other, and the 11 that we've been dating, that you don't know how to tie a tie? It never came up until now. You're just lucky this hasn't happened during our one year anniversary. This is not a month away, though. I should be underground by then. It's ungrounded by then, so that's a plus. Very true. I pay close attention to Blaze's efforts and she seems to do a better job of this than I could. Dang, flab it. Not again! Ugh. Can you please not do this to me? Why are you like this to me? Hello, everyone. Okay, so here's... Like, okay, so everything's hopefully working well again. Um, I actually had to 
click a couple times to get back to where we were. Even though this is like essentially the end of the episode, I would still feel guilty if I didn't like, you know, sign out. But the next episode should be well and dandy. Ow. So, yeah. But, and sorry, I'm trying to get everything back in order again. Because, you know, it was being derpy, so blah, blah, blah. Um, I skipped a couple of lines. I just skipped, I think, those two lines or something like that. Because we were on those other lines for a little bit. Um, seems to do a better job than did I accomplish better now. The chance is your turn. Okay. Now I'm going to end this episode here. But, uh, uh, next time we'll continue onward. Um, I would, well, anyway, we'll continue this next time. So, Tiny and Chibis is, uh, signing out. Uh-oh. Hold on. A minute. Oh, no! Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Looks like I'm going to have to sign out twice, because this thing is being derpy. No. Oh. Pickup. Just listening to the radio, they mashed into the back of my truck, doing about 25 or 30 miles per hour. After a second, I cut my engine, got out to the cab, and walked around to the front of my truck. The good news was, I could see that I wasn't going to have to worry about that loose belt squeal anymore. The bad news is, that the front of my little pickup was pretty much totaled. The grill drove back into the radiator, there was water all over the pavement, the headlights were smashed, and I bent down and noticed.